I noticed that after I had to confront them about something, I had to bring to their attention something they were doing that wasn't contributing to the health of the relationship, they became very defensive and very, you know, just very harsh and they stopped coming. And I began to really reflect like, oh my gosh, is it true that women don't apologize? Is it that women struggle with being held accountable? Good morning, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Natty Pookie Podcast right here on the Black Non-Democrat YouTube and Rumble channel. I am your host, Dutch the Creator, and today we have a great show for you guys. We are going to be talking about women's accountability. Now, is it even a such thing as women's accountability no i don't think it is as a whole i don't think women take accountability um seriously (laughs) i don't think they take it lightly i don't think they take it heavy i don't think they take it at all they leave it there They, they just leave it they do not take accountability and you can tell when you talk to them these things started going on in their mind when you ask them to admit that they're wrong, admit that they did something wrong, admit that something that they did caused an event to happen. You will not get them <laughs> saying anything other than, well, it takes two to tangle. Well, I wasn't even the first one in there. Well, well, well. And this is what this therapist is going to be talking about today. You're going to hear from a therapist that said that these women literally quit, quit because they do not want to take accountability. And if anybody want to know, what accountability is we're gonna break it down right now let's just see accountability the fact or condition of being accountable or responsible so without further ado listen to this lady go down in the comment section tell me what you think while she's talking and i'll wrap this up right after she finished and give my final thoughts let's go people So I was talking to a male friend of mine the other day and he told me that women don't apologize and women can't be held accountable. And I began to really think deeply about this idea. And one of the things that came across my mind is in the last nine months or so of me being in my private practice, I have myself experienced many women, whether they came as in as a couple or they came by themselves, they uh, very abruptly discontinued their therapy. And I started to reflect and really think, you know, what was going on here? And I noticed that after I had to confront them about something, I had to bring to their attention something they were doing that wasn't contributing to the health of the relationship, they became very defensive and very, you know, just very harsh and they stopped coming. And even though the husband would continue to come, he made it very clear that, yeah, she won't apologize. She thinks you're wrong. She thinks you're taking my side. And I began to really reflect like, oh my gosh, is it true that women don't apologize? Is it that women struggle with being held accountable? I'd love your thoughts on this. Me personally, I think it has to do with a person's level of emotional maturity. What do you think? What, what, what do I think, therapist lady? Oh, oh, well, I do have a podcast called Not A Pookie Podcast where I say what I think all the time. I don't think it has anything to do with what she's saying. I think it has to do with a cycle of entitlement. You see, a cycle of entitlement to where they're strong, they're independent, they struggle. And on top of that, women just need to be helped. And women really isn't 
responsible for their actions. You see, that's how they view themselves. They really believe that the things that they do, it, you, you made them do that. You made them do that. It's something called postpartum depression. And with this postpartum depression, a woman can kill her kids and get off on postpartum depression defense because it wasn't her it wasn't her decision it wasn't her decision to drown all her children it was postpartum depression it was just being a woman and being overwhelmed but this is a grown person right that's how we supposed to treat them. They want us to treat them equal, but they don't want equality. They want to just be treated different. But nonetheless, let's just say that we do treat them like children, that we do treat them like a five-year-old child that, you know, that five-year-old child is not responsible for anything it does. The parents are. So let's rule over women how about that let's make the decisions for women nope can't do that dutch cannot do that we can't do that it is 2023 don't you say don't you say rule over no women don't you don't you don't you do that man but why because if they check it if they are not accountable and not responsible for their actions therefore we have to be responsible for their actions. So if I'm responsible for the five-year-old's actions, I am responsible for the five-year-old. So therefore, the five-year-old is up under me and I have to govern the five-year-old. So the five-year-old can't make stupid decisions. Did I just go too deep? And I'm not saying we should rule over women. What I want is just women to be held accountable. That's all. I don't think we should rule over women. But if you're saying that you can't help yourselves with helping yourself hold yourself accountable for the things and the actions and the decisions that you make, come on now. I mean, it's a think of the law out there. It's called um, a, a seduction law where this guy can go to jail or or be penalized for seducing her. She was just she she was just swept off her feet, man. Wow. But I said as a whole that women aren't held accountable or they don't take accountability for themselves. Individual pockets, slivers of women, they do. Um, I'm out in a dating scene right now, you guys, and you know, I'm I'm talking to this young lady, you know, um, she's she's very sweet. And, you know, I had an issue. And as I was typing my issue, I just knew I was gonna get some flack. I knew I was not gonna get um what I wanted. I just thought she was not going to hold herself accountable. I think I was like, she's not going to take accountability for this. But me, I'm I'm Dutch the creator, babe. I'm going to talk. I'm going I'm going to let you know what, what what I think. So I let her know exactly what I think and what I wasn't comfortable with. And you see the three bubbles, right? You you like here we go, here go the bullshit. And those three bubbles went away, and the message came up. And said, you're absolutely right. And I apologize. Whoa, what? 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 You what? And I'm what? Wow, I thought it was gonna I, I thought it was gonna be psych. I ain't taking responsibility for what you just said. Look, I seen it and it it, it happened. And I was like, wow, you know. And the reason I was surprised, and I even told her, I said, the reason I'm surprised because we rarely get that as men, okay? You guys, please, men, go down in the comment section and tell me of your experiences when you're trying to talk to your woman, you're trying to talk to a woman, you're trying to talk to a woman at work, you're trying to talk to a woman on the street, and they just will not 
ever, ever apologize for what they did. And you can even apologize. See, men, we, majority of men, we sit up there and, you know, we, all right, you got me. Fool, fuck it. You know, you got me. I, I, I shouldn't have did that, okay? But women, man, boy, oh boy, oh boy. And even when they do apologize, tell me, tell me I'm lying. They apologize like this. I'm sorry if you felt I hurt your feelings. Y'all go down in the comment section. Tell me what you think, man. Um, Women, come on, baby. Just start to apologize and keep it moving. Just let it be a period right there. Don't say anything after that. Just say, you're absolutely right. I apologize. Y'all stay unplugged from false narratives. I'm out. I will catch you on the next one. Y'all be safe.